right, so what this is right here is of course, of course, mouthwash, but he's one of the better brands that I saw. I saw also people use coconut oil, but I haven't gotten that far yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, to be honest with you. But this shit works. I usually get compliments on my teeth all the time, but that's because of the braces and the actually brushing your teeth and flossing. But this is right here does the, the extra over the top, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this right here though, I use for my face. A lot of you probably saying, what the fuck is this? It's a blob of clay. Um, it's actually African shea butter. You know what I'm saying? I wash my face two times a day, especially if I'm as active as I am, like playing sports, you need to wash your face. And not even just for washing your face, it's gonna clear out all the blemishes and all that shit like that. You have to hydrate yourself for good shit. So like, drink water, of course, but not, you can't drink uh, nonsense water like Dasani or uh, Aquafina, you can't be doing that. Me personally, I drink Eternal or I drink, um, what's this, it's a brand that starts with a W. I drink that one too. And, um, yeah, it sounds bougie, but these waters is not fake. That's a whole, man, these waters are fake. That's a whole nother conversation, but you want, you want waters that say in the ingredients spring water, natural, natural spring water. But yeah, I use African Shea Butter. This, this does works for me, you know what I'm saying? It may work for you, you know? But yeah, I used to get compliments on my skin all the time, you know what I'm saying? But it works. Oh yeah, I forgot to add to, I use Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. I don't know what it focus. I also use Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. This is fire, this is fire, a lot of, Clean ingredients, which your toothpaste should have. It shouldn't have no scrubbing agents like Colgate or other nonsense, but this one is it. I've been using this for a couple years now. And like I said, I used to get compliments on my teeth. A lot of other factors come into play, but bing bong, bow. Yes, sir. <laughs>
well not I think, I know I needed that self check before we head out into the rest of the year. We are soon about to be in September. That's, that's season nine of this year. <laughs> season nine, you feel me? So, besides that, it's just been good. Everything has been good, but further along, besides the apology, we're gonna get right to it. So today I wanted to speak on the power you have within you. You have unlimited amount of power within you. And I don't think most people understand the fact of these factors you have in you to not just obtain, but you can create everything that you think about, you know? Like there's so many instances where it's like, yo, how did that even happen? 10 times out of 10, you probably thought about it and held that thought, you know? I read something one day was like, yo, everything that you prayed about in the past happened, probably happened. You know what I'm saying? Unless you lost sight of whatever it was that you was thinking about, you know? So, what it begins with is your words, mainly your words. Um, words are spells, and spells are not always bad things. You know what I'm saying? When we think of spells, we think of witchcraft or or just uh, the nonsense that you will see. You know what I'm saying? It's not always the bad things. Sometimes, or most all the times, is what you speak to yourself. Excuse me. Most of the time, it's the things that you speak to yourself in positive light. You know, like for example, I call myself Glow because I bring light to everywhere I go, whether it be a smile, laughter, or enlightenment. That's why I call myself Glow. Or even as small as, uh, <laughs> this is a perfect one. When you think about somebody, right? You think about somebody and then you mess around and see them in person. <laughs> think about how often that happens. It's just that small. You bring that much power. Oh, it's a coincidence, Trey. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's such a coincidence that you thought about him before seeing him, right? It's amazing. You did that. You have that power. And guess who gave you that power? The Almighty God Himself. You know? He gave us so many abilities that we're not even tapped into that, you know, it's all service level things. And honestly, the more we get in touch with the world, the more we get extracted from those powers. Sometimes we need to, or not, sometimes we need to hone back in as people, back into those things of what is divine because we're in the image of him, you know? So, like I was saying, like, it starts with your words. How are you speaking to yourself? I notice so many people speak to themselves so dangerously, dangerously, like, saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm, I suck. Or even when, like when I'm playing basketball, um, I gotta work on that too. That's tough. Saying the word um in so many different times. But like even when certain, I notice when certain people I'm playing basketball around, they say I suck. Oh, or yo, I can't shoot today. You immediately took yourself out. You immediately took yourself out. Imagine recreating those words, or not recreating them, but re-saying those words instead of when you miss, right? Bang, you miss. All right, I'm making the next one. Boom, you shot the next one. Might have been good. Say if you missed it again, then, yo, I'm making the next one. Especially with the with the whole extension of you put the work into it. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing of your words. You I, like so many people don't understand the power that you have. Being that you tell yourself something multiple times, you're gonna end up becoming it. You're gonna end up seeing it. And then nextly, it becomes a thought. You know what I'm saying? And then when it becomes a thought, you're constantly repetitiously, I believe that's the word, <laughs> telling yourself some so many times is bound to happen. You know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with a female recently, and, and this is another thing too. When you come across people that are telling you dumb stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then you ingest it, you eat it alive. You know what I'm saying? And then you start thinking and you're like, yo, these thoughts in your head as you're walking away, you're just like, yo, am I that? You start questioning it. It's like, yo, like, don't let people strip away your power from you. You know, just because of their words doesn't mean you're it. <sighs> Giving people so, like, a lot of people give so many people power just from what they say to them. 
know what I'm saying? That's where it brings it to the effect of not just your thoughts, but who do you bring around you as far as what are they speaking to? How, how are they uh, looking at you? Are they seeing you for who you are or what you are right now or how you speak to yourself or how you look or how you look at yourself in the future? It also, it depends on how you treat yourself. You can't treat yourself terribly and then also at the same time try to try to think you're going to be so high and mighty. It's like contradicting yourself. It's like talking bad but this, but also doing the work. Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up, you know? Like, and then with those thoughts, it becomes a snowball. Like, you, you, you get consumed in these thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even just in that one situation in one day, it could turn, it could turn and linger on into uh, a week. It could, some people ling- linger on into uh, months, years. You know what I mean? Like, especially with like body dysphobia. Somebody at one point told you you were fat. Maybe you were fat. Maybe you, maybe somebody said it out of the anger because of how they viewed themselves. But also at the same time, what are you going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Your thoughts are very, very intricate on how you project yourself on what you want and want to receive and what you want to create. Because you can't receive what you want if your thoughts are so, like, boxed in based off what somebody told you. Yo, that's ridiculous. Like... I tell myself, and, and and the crazy part is, I used to do the same thing. Like I said, my background was basketball, so let's talk about basketball. Like, I would do moves, we're doing ball handling that day. Yo, my, my ball handling is nasty. It lingers on into the next day. Dang, my shit is trash. And then, you know what I'm saying? You start realizing that your words are really affecting your thoughts. And then it goes into the game, and you're losing the ball. You're losing, the, but you're, you're doing the work. It's just like it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's an amazing thing. We have so much power. We have so much power. I, like it's like very untapped too. I heard recently that we have the power to bring people back from the dead, and it's a very, very true statement. You know what I'm saying? Like think about it. I'm not just talking about doctors and physicians and all that stuff. I'm talking about dead people's part of their spirit and where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand that, say if you give somebody a compliment, a woman at that, a guy, where it brings their, you know what I'm saying, their day up to, like, where it brings their head to. They could have been having a terrible day. Just because you said one compliment, you made their day. You made them reconsider what they were probably going to do later on that's a very steep <laughs> range of what i'm talking about like as far as like suicide but you never know what somebody is going through during this time in their lives so just one compliment may have sparked whatever they had going or what they were going to do on to the next thing you know what i mean so once you get from words to the thought it leads to the physical it always leads to the physical you know what i'm saying like your thoughts end up triggering like the, the action meaning like yo like dang mean like dang bro like so I might as well just have this thing of bad uh some eat something bad you know what I mean like eat something bad because you know I'm already fat <laughs> that's your thought like somebody told me I was fat the words I spoke out of my mouth my thoughts are starting to ring like yo like I'm fat, bro. I might as well just let it go. I might as well eat this. I might as well be around people that's, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they're eating like this, like bad too. And now y'all doing it in the group. And then y'all end up going to work. And y'all sitting at work at a desk. It's not contributing to your health, but your pockets, yeah. But you're doing it in a cycle now. That's where, that's, that's the physical. Now it's a cycle. It's a snowball, like just like I said before, just like the thoughts. It all builds up. Now your thoughts are telling you, yo, you need to, you need to just fuck it, just let it go, let it go. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat that uh, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat that uh, KFC, KFC drumstick. 
<laughs> that fucking chicken strip from Popeyes. Whatever it is. Whatever your vice is, bro. Maybe it's a drug. I don't know, man. Like, whatever it is y'all do. But it's a, it's, a, it's a thought that leads to the action. Remember, you have so much power. You have so much power. What are ways to get around it? Start re-engineering. How are you speaking to yourself? Like I said before, your words. The power of, and I learned this from network marketing, the power of I am. You know what I'm saying? I am this. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am uh, blessed. I am, uh, I, I attract money. All of that. At least the thoughts. Now we're talking about re-engineering. So at least your thoughts from your words. Now, your thoughts are, yo, like, what are ways that I can attract money? What are ways I can be better at uh, lifting? What are ways I can be better at basketball? You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. Now it leads into action. The action will... Yeah, sorry about that. But now it leads into action. Now you're going into the game. So if it's basketball, you have confidence because your thoughts. You've seen yourself dribbling crossing people up, splitting double teams, whatever the case may be. Shoot, your thoughts were before you're hitting the gym, like your body, the way you image yourself, now you're going to do the action to become a beast. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 all hand in hand activity. But you have the power, you have the choice. And that's the beautiful thing about what God gave us. The power of choice. You can choose to do what the hell you want to do, but know it's gonna be repercussions to everything that you That being said, that's another great talk, a great, uh, I don't even know if you want, want to call it a car rant, but it's something that needs to be said, because I want to see people be great. But until next time, y'all, this is Tool Train, not 20 Trey. Catch you in the next one. Peace.